Beloved Masters, there has been much discussion about the right and left brain integration of humankind as part of the evolutionary ascension process. It is important that you understand that as long as you are in the vibrational fields of duality or separation, you will not totally unify the right and left brain areas of expression. However, when you tap into your sacred mind, which is located at the upper, back portion of the head, you will tap into a fifth dimensional environment where there is unity consciousness. In that etheric area of the brain, all is unified, there is no separation. The goddess inspired right brain is forever seeking loving, emotional interaction and creative expression via the soul's consciousness. The left brain, masculine mind is more interested in concrete facts established via the material plane of consciousness which creates a push or pull duality consciousness. Your soul and higher self function within a reality of no time or space limitations, while the ego consciousness is limited by time and structural boundaries. The divine blueprint or plan of the past and present is quickly coming to a conclusion. The experimental experience of duality and separation is either being modified, harmonized, integrated or eliminated. You cannot judge that which occurs in the negative arena of duality without stepping out of the narrow path of balance, thus placing yourself in the scene of action you are judging as immoral or bad. Remember, the ego mind is entrapped in the denser levels of polarity, and judgment is a result of a polarized mind. There are vibrating energy fields of consciousness within every dimensional level which will always accommodate and validate a person's state of awareness. Low-level vibrations weaken the physical body, for there is less light or life force energy available. You must continuously endeavor to control your ego desire body personality. Your third or fourth dimensional existence is an altered state of consciousness a diminished state which represents only a very small portion of your powerful and magnificent divine self. In the beginning stages of self-awareness, the control of the ego personality is very strong. Your desire and willingness to follow the nudgings of the soul self must be even stronger. As the path of righteousness grows more narrow, you must strive for the highest choices in all decisions. Those of you who are firmly on the path of light are clearing not only all of the distorted negative energy stored within your physical vessel but also any lower astral plane energy you still have within your auric field. The three lower astral planes hold the collective consciousness belief system. You are disconnecting from and moving beyond that area of influence as you strive to achieve more balanced, harmonious energy patterns. While you are doing so, it is important that you become an observer of the process. You must watch and wait patiently until your opportunity to serve is made very clear to you. You must also adjust your priorities to match your dreams, and you must have faith in yourself and in the divine plan that awaits fulfillment. It is an important milestone when the fear of change develops into excitement and anticipation of what the future holds. Are you daring enough to choose the life you yearn for? As you move higher on the path of illumination, you will no longer be interested in the small dramas of those around you, for you no longer embody the lower frequencies of attachment. Your lofty vantage point of a self-master allows you to view the ongoing third or fourth dimensional drama as an observer not as a participant. The beginning process of ascension or raising your vibrational patterns is a critical factor in accessing the higher dimensional fields of consciousness. First, you reconnect with your physically embodied soul self, then with your oversoul higher self and your etheric replica, which resides within your personal pyramid of light. Once you have accomplished these three stages of enlightenment, you are ready to step onto the fast track of ascension. Staying centered within the sacred heart or mind allows spiritual or intellectual growth to accelerate. Every soul will ultimately tap into their genius potential, which is stored within the sacred mind. This treasure trove of wisdom is located in the higher frequency levels of the brain. Genius quotient is the capacity to act and react in an individual, original way through the choices you make. It determines how you adapt to circumstances and how you express your individuality. You are to seek emotional stability and the planes of the higher mind in order to express intelligent love. 
a seed atom of pure creator essence resides within your sacred heart. Revelations of great import are revealed and your connection with the source of all becomes more intimate when you begin to feel this essence of pure love within your sacred heart center. Remember, you magnetize energy to you, and you radiate energy from your solar power center, front and back. As your energetic signature becomes more refined and is attuned to the higher frequencies of light, you will still draw forth a portion of the half-spectrum, primal life force substance as long as you remain in a third or fourth dimensional environment. However, it will mix and meld with the higher frequency adamantine particles of light, and will be automatically transformed by your loving intention into higher frequency energy as you align your free will with the will of our Father or Mother God. The different colored, luminescent rays will assist in integrating and balancing the higher frequency patterns of galactic consciousness. The more you balance, harmonize and strengthen your chakra system, the more divine light you will be able to absorb. The spinal column will eventually become a rod of light or power through which the streams of white fire essence of the Creator can flow unimpeded, whereby the process of ascension will be greatly accelerated. The Supreme Creator is pure love the ultimate state of being. Each divine spark of light contains a seed atom of undiluted Creator consciousness, the adamantine particles of light. These sparks of divinity contain the love, divine will and wisdom to create everything in existence past, present, or future. This seed atom was placed within the center of your diamond core God cell for this sub-universal experience. The inner seed atom of vision and intuition must be gradually opened and brought into sharp focus. Atoms and molecules are miniature solar systems with a central nucleus and orbiting electrons, but are mostly composed of space. The nucleus and electrons are not solid matter, but forms of energy, energy which takes on form. All shapes and geometric patterns have an energetic signature. The Supreme Creator has supplied the raw material and the formulas for every imaginable creation. Along with the Elohim Creator Gods, the angelic realm and the great builders of form, you, as self-conscious co-creators, were given the command to go forth and create worlds without end. There is a major theme for each sub-universal experience, however, the execution of the divine plan is left up to the godparents of each sub-universe. The first impulse as a divine spark of individualized consciousness was the will or desire to create. Each divine spark was or is given a conscious awareness of self, as well as the creative abilities to manifest within the material planes of consciousness, and the right to choose what to create. However, along with this wondrous gift came the requirement that each soul must experience its own creations, whether positive or negative. In the beginning, all new creative endeavors are open-ended. However, after the divine plan has been played out in all its magnificent variations, the ascension process for enlightened souls is initiated. You are in the midst of one of those extraordinary times. Time is defined by units of major and minor pulsations which are sent forth as waves of energetic thought patterns, crystallized seed thoughts that originated within the mind of our Father or Mother God. These waves and pulsations are experienced as periods and cycles of time. They are sent forth as great bursts of light which radiate forcefully out into the great cosmic womb of space, where they are cradled and nurtured by the loving essence of our Mother God. During this critical phase of evolution or ascension, it is imperative that you understand the process of using the universal laws of manifestation so that you may claim and use your co-creative abilities to the fullest. You are being offered a golden opportunity to join the ranks of the great builders of form. Therefore, we will give you a review of some of the most important steps of the co-creative process. We suggest that you also review or study the illustrations for building your 12-ray wheel of creation or your personal flower of life that we gave our messenger some time ago. These illustrations can be found in our study manual. Reference and Revelation S asterisk Glossary and Illustrations asterisk RH If you have followed our instructions, you have created your pyramid of light or power in the fifth dimension, and you are a regular visitor to the pyramid of light which contains a holographic replica of the earth. Many of you have also joined in creating group pyramids for specific purposes, 
and you have also created various pyramids for special projects in order to draw forth the essence of creation needed to bring your visions to fruition. Know this, in each one of these pyramids you have left an etheric replica of yourself which is constantly integrating the specific geometric patterns of light needed to create your new reality on earth, and also to lay the groundwork for your new existence in higher, more refined realms. You are active not only in the physical world, you also have many facets of your God Self in the higher realms with whom you are interacting. Have we not told you that you are becoming multidimensional beings? We gave you specific instructions and step-by-step -step techniques for accessing the frequencies from the City of Light in your area via your personal Pyramid of Light. By practicing the Infinity Breath, you fill your etheric replicas and physical vessel with adamantine particles or God particles of light. We will now refine and add more components to the process. Have you wondered why, several years ago, we instructed you to breathe in light and breathe out love when you go into the world pyramid with the intention of radiating love or light to humanity and the world. When you breathe in light, you are breathing adamantine particles into your sacred heart. When you breathe out unconditional or sacred love, the adamantine particles of pure God essence are empowered or ignited by your loving intentions so that they can be used for the greatest good. You are the receptacle for these God particles, and your love is the activator. Envision this, during meditation or your quiet time, preferably twice a day, morning and evening, take twelve full infinity breaths, and after the twelfth one, Pull in your abdomen and hold your breath for a moment or two. Now, as you take the next, or thirteenth, breath, or you may start over at the count of one, see it flowing forth from your solar power center, sacred heart core, into the front of your body. The infinity pattern is now in a horizontal configuration instead of vertical. On the in-breath, the first flat loop extends outward in front of your body and on the out-breath, the second loop extends from the back of your body, completing the infinity sign. Breathe in and out six infinity signs, and as you do, they will automatically create a pattern of twelve loops that completely surround you like the petals of a flower. As you breathe out the last loop, again hold your breath for a moment before returning to normal breathing. Then breathe in and out consciously as you envision the essence of creation flowing forth from you out into the world. Also, envision spirals of light connecting you to the world pyramid and the multiple pyramids that you have created in the higher dimensions, thereby sharing your particles of love or light with the world as well as fueling your visions with the divine life force substance of all creation. Take a few moments to complete this sacred process by focusing on your sacred heart center so that you may feel the fullness there and the overwhelming love that pours throughout your body. You are now connected to the river of life which contains an inexhaustible supply of adamantine particles. It is tangible, beloveds. It is real, and it is the most wondrous, blissful feeling you will ever experience while in the earthly vessel, for you are experiencing the pure loving essence of the Creator. My brave ones, do not fear the future, for when your heart and intentions are pure, you are sheltered within the radiance and protection of Creator Light. We will not tell you that there will not be stressful times ahead, for you must traverse the path of polarity and duality in order to reach the plateau of peace and harmony. There will always be challenges, lessons and opportunities to expand your consciousness as you integrate more of your divinity. Know that the situations or problems that come your way for resolution cannot be solved at the level in which they were created. You must rise above the conflicts of the ego self and view each situation through a filter of love and from the vantage point of a self-master. Envision within your mind's eye a wholeness that has never been distorted, a world that has no imperfections and a radiant, perfected you residing in this paradise. It is not a time for the faint of heart, for indecision, or denial, for your world is radically changing whether you believe it or not. Isn't it time to accept the gifts we are offering so that you may move gracefully and joyously into the future? It is our greatest joy and honor to assist and serve you, and never forget, you are loved unconditionally. I am Archangel Michael.